I've wanted to make this video for a while, and since it's time for me to do an engine tune-up, it's a perfect time. Um, the video is on checking and adjusting the valve clearance of your Generac generator. This is a, uh, I think a 22 uh, kilowatt unit, to 22, 23. Uh, valve clearance is important in that it takes into account the heating and expansion of the metal parts. If there's too little clearance between the rocker arm and the valve stem, when the stem expands from heating, the valve may not close all the way, and this will lead to a decrease in compression and engine power. If you have too much clearance, the valve will not fully open, resulting in reduced intake of a fuel-air mixture, if this happens on the intake valve, or a reduced removal of exhaust gases, if we're talking about the exhaust valve. Uh, these are the tools that you will need to do it. I will have links at the bottom where you can get them, as well as uh, a link to the Generac's uh, Adjusting Your Valve Clearance page, which will give you torque settings if you're interested. Things that you will need are a uh, 1 in 7 16 uh, socket for your socket wrench. This is so you can rotate your crankshaft. You will need uh, some Allen keys, specifically the uh, number 10. You'll need a wrench set, and you will need uh, feeler gauges with various size feelers because we're going to be adjusting our uh, valve clearance, hopefully to 0 .003 uh, inches. And you're going to need a stick or a straw to watch as your valve comes up and down because you want to do this at the top of the compression stroke. I'm going to have a short animation that puts this all in perspective so you know what's going on. So let's get on with it. I'm going to shut off my uh, gas. I'm going to remove the fuse. I'm going to disconnect the battery. And we're going to do that now. Here we're going to turn off our fuel. I'm going to remove the fuse. off the panel. I'm going to disconnect the spark plug here and in the back. We're going to need to remove the spark plugs for both. I'll remove the, la the one in the back when I get to it, but I am going to loosen it because when the cylinder compresses, if the spark plugs connected, you're going to wind up developing pressure in the cylinder. You're not going to be able to rotate the shaft. So I'm going to loosen them. We need to disconnect the battery for two reasons. First, we don't want the battery connected and have the motor accidentally start. Second, we have to get behind this protective plastic plate so we can rotate the uh, crankshaft. And you'll notice if I get in real close with the camera, this comes off here. And now we have access to the crankshaft. This is going to go on right there. One and seven sixteenths. And we're going to rotate it clockwise on this end. Real simple to get to. Time to remove the spark plug. Next thing we're going to do is get top dead center. So this is how we're going to check our valve clearance. Where the spark plug goes, I'm going to place a little feeler. It is important this feeler is not something that's going to easily break or get wedged in the cylinder because if it does, it snaps, it's going to get lodged in there. 
and it will will just follow it as it goes up and down. This is the exhaust, this is the intake. There's a little bit of play in the rocker arm, so make sure you take that into account when you check with your feeler gauges. I'm sorry, as I rotate clockwise the, uh, the shaft, the cylinder's going down. This is the power stroke. As it nears the bottom and then starts to come up, you'll notice that the exhaust is opening. So now the exhaust, see this is starting to get a little stuck. So we gotta go backwards. Be very careful with your feeler. I'm going to switch this around this way. As I'm coming up, the intake is opening and the cylinder is going to start going down. Cylinder is going down still. I'm just following with my feeler. Eventually the cylinder is coming up. When it gets to the very top, that will be top dead center. It's coming up. Coming up, I'm going a little slower, a little more. That's about it. So that's top dead center. At this point, I'm going to check the clearances. I want to see between point zero zero two and point zero zero four. So let's go right in the middle with point zero zero three, and I'm going to try not to get my arms in this. Point zero zero three goes in. We'll try point zero zero four. There's some friction. I'm going to just play the, with the rock arm a little bit, and it just goes through. Let's see point zero zero five. That's not going through. Well, oh, did that go through? No, that's not going through. So that one's good. Let's check the other one. Point zero zero three. That's good. Let's try zero zero four. Again, there's a little play. That goes through. Let's look at zero, zero, five. So we can adjust this one. See that just a little bit of play. It's close, but we're going to tighten that up. Try not to get my hands in here, but I need to get here. I'm going to loosen that jam nut right there. I'm going to put my Allen key number 10 in there. I think it might be better if I just come in right here. So we're going to loosen the nut. We're going to shoot for point zero zero three. going to tighten just a little bit. So there's some tight friction there. I'm now going to tighten the nut while holding the Allen key in place. But not too tight, because I have to retest to make sure it didn't move. So I cinched it a bit. And let's see. And now zero zero four. Check for the play on here. Try zero three. This is 
zero to three goes through with some friction. Let's see if that works. I'm gonna tighten this a little bit more. So I've cinched it up pretty tight, so let's uh, do a check. So I've got my .003 here, which goes through with a little friction. Let's try .004. Barely, if anything, makes it through. Let's just check 003 again. You notice how I had to jiggle the rocker arm just a little bit. So I'm good here. So I'm just gonna hold this again, cinch it really tight. And just do one last check that nothing's moved. Three goes in with some friction. Four doesn't go through. So I'm good with that. I'm gonna put the spark plug back in, tighten it to 200 inch pounds. Of course, before I put this spark plug in, you have to do the other cylinder, but I've already done that one. going to torque tighten the spark plugs. Uh, it's anywhere I think between 180 to 220. My manual actually says 18.4 foot pounds, which is about 220 uh, inch pounds. I'm just going to do it to uh, 190. I mean, that should be sufficient. Okay, to go 200. Gonna tighten it to 200 inch pounds. And now the last spark plug. We find out if we didn't mess things up. I guess things worked out pretty well. Hope uh, this video was helpful to you. Remember links in the bottom where you can get the parts you need.